Our space marines are broken. If only we had someone who could put them back together again. Hello and welcome back to Allspets Tactics, the strategy and tactics focus 40k channel, where we're all about getting the most out of every model and rule available to us in the armies of the 41st millennium. We're going through the masters of the chapter over the next week or so, and now it's time to take a look at the chief apothecary, the guy who really knows how to sew people back together in a hurry. Without further ado, let's get into his rules. Now, as for all of these special characters from Faith and Fury, you pay one command point to upgrade one of your regular characters to his Master of the Chapter version, and you do so before the battle. You can only use this stratagem once per battle, and no more than one character per chapter can have the Chief Apothecary keyword. In upgrading your regular Apothecary to be a Chief Apothecary, this allows you to re-roll the dice when you are rolling to see whether you would bring back a slain model to one of your depleted Space Marine units when he provides medical attention to that unit as is in his datasheet. So this is quite a decent buff for one command point. The main reason that you bring an apothecary is to try and revive dead models or heal injured models within the unit. He's particularly good to be brought alongside very expensive models such as Centurion Devastators or perhaps something like Aggressors because with these units, he'll be getting the most out of that healing and bringing back from the dead ability. By making that ability a lot more reliable, you're essentially getting more value out of the character, and if you are bringing an apothecary along, it could well be worth it to make his bringing back from the dead ability that bit more reliable. Now bear in mind that this isn't a flat upgrade, unlike the Tech Marine, for example, which we saw in the last video, because it doesn't affect his healing ability. So if you do target a unit that has lost wounds on one of its models, say you target that Centurion Devastator unit and one of them's already taken a wound, this ability won't have any effect as you'll just do the normal heal D3 wounds on the character or infantry unit. So maybe not quite as good a use of the one command point as on the Tech Marine. He does of course add some interesting abilities via his Warlord traits and relics. The Warlord traits that he has available to him our Father of the Future, which is a really nice and very strong rule, which gives all infantry and biker units within 6 inches of him the Feel No Pain type save, where when they lose a wound, if you roll a dice, and then on a 6 that wound will not be lost. If the model has the Flesh is Weak special rule, then that unit does not lose a wound on a 5 plus instead. This is actually a really really strong Warlord trait, as it could potentially affect a large portion of your army. If you're playing a mainly infantry based space marine force, then this will provide a frankly pretty massive durability increase to that space marine infantry. It'll be best used on anything with a multi wound profile, such as intercessors, aggressors, centurions, and the like. It's particularly good on two wound models when they're being shot by damage two weapons, and it increases their survivability enormously. This guy is a massively good take for iron hands though as a 5 plus feel no pain is actually exponentially better than a 6 up feel no pain. Overall, because of the chance of saving wounds that you've already saved, a 5 plus feel no pain roughly equals a 50% durability increase for multi-wound models, where a 6 up feel no pain roughly is a 20%. This means that he is absolutely crazily strong for an Iron Hands infantry army, which isn't something that you see loads of, but with this sort of thing in play, you might see a bit more of. Particularly now, Iron Father Pharos's 5 up invul save applies to infantry and not to vehicles. Put these two in an advancing line of intercessors, and I think you've just found yourself the most durable intercessor blob in the game so far. Putting wounds efficiently on these guys will be a complete nightmare. All in all, a really strong trait, and I could easily see that in competitive play. Now, his other trait is great as well. This focuses on his healing abilities. When he provides medical attention, either healing or reviving a model, he can do this twice, and he can do it to the same unit. This is great as it stacks with the Chief Apothecary main benefit of re-rolling that dice, so you actually have a pretty darn decent chance of getting two models back up in one unit. Or, say if a unit has taken an injured model, you could heal that injured model, and then have a chance of getting another model back up. It also works the other way around, so if you get a model back up, you could then heal that model further. If you're playing an apothecary to heal a big unit that you want to survive, such as say those Devastator Centurions, this could be a really good pick, and it means that your opponent will actually have to wipe out the whole unit, otherwise those Centurions are just going to be getting straight back up from the dead, 
no questions asked. Another very, very strong trait, both working completely different ways, and both very strong in my opinion. Now we'll take a quick look at the relics. Firstly we have acquittal. This is an upgrade on a bolt pistol or absorber bolt pistol, and it upgrades it to strength 5, AP minus 3, and damage 1. And if you shoot it at a unit that isn't a vehicle or a monster, then its damage characteristic increases to D6. As always, relic bolt pistols tend to be a bit underwhelming, and this is no exception. With the colossal array of relics available to space marines at the moment, I'm sure we can find something better than this to spend your command point on. His other relic is Healer's Aegis, and this gives Shredney infantry models a 5 plus invul save when they're within 1 inch of the model with this relic. It's interesting that this is for individual models, not units, and that the aura is so small. In reality, this is going to mean that you're only going to be buffing one small squad's defense capabilities with this 5 plus invul. I think it could potentially be useful on something like aggressors or centurions, who could easily conceivably wrap around this model and have every model within 1 inch of them. Keeping those models alive would be fairly useful, and of course he already synergizes quite well with them because they're exactly the sort of models he wants to be bringing back from the dead. I think that this could potentially be useful, but it could mess with your movement as well, and having to keep within a very, very tiny aura might not be the best idea if you want to give your squad the best chance of being in the right place to do the damage at the right time. So I'd say this one's a maybe from me. Not useless, but not overwhelmingly good either. So overall, I think that the Chief Apothecary is certainly a very valid pick if you're running an Apothecary already. The combination of being better at bringing units back from the dead and being able to do it twice is really potent and will actually mean that you're very reliably getting models back up in a very expensive unit. As we've already said, I really like this on Centurions. If you're getting infantry models back up, it may as well be really, really expensive ones. That Father of the Future... Warlord trait to give a 6 plus feel no pain or other is absolutely massive and not something that we've seen in Space Marines so far. There's lots of Space Marines infantry builds out there and this synergizes incredibly well with multi-wound Primaris models. 6 up feel no pains really stack up over the course of a game and anything that gives you a flat multiplier to durability is great. I don't think I'd personally bother with either of the relics but Healer's Aegis certainly seems more useful than another fancy bolt pistol to put on the pile. Overall, a very good little unit, and another good reason that we might want to be spending all of our command points pre-game. Space Marines really need to make some decisions with the command point management, and what they think is going to get them the best bang for their buck. As always, thanks for listening to an Auspex Tactics video. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. We'll certainly be covering the other heroes from Faith and Fury in the near future. Please feel free to check back later in the week to see these, and if you'd like to support me on Patreon, any help would certainly be appreciated, as these videos take quite a while to make. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.